subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon for the latest film interviews, features and recommendations on the movies that matter. Lothamam, welcome to Class Act. Yay! <laughs> Finally. You know, Finally. You know, I've been such a huge admirer of your work over the years. Thank you. Um, I'm so glad we're doing this. Um, but I'm really especially glad that we're doing this at a time when you have not one, not two, but three projects coming out. Imagine. Each so different. It's really a testament to your versatility if one needed it. Thank you. Such different projects. The, the most significant, I'd say, of the three is Sir, the film that you've made with Roina Guerra. It's the film that premiered at Cannes two years ago. Um, I fell in love with this film. You know that. I've been, I've yes. been seeing this. You've uh, been a huge since. supporter of the film. I fell in love with the film the moment I saw it. It's this beautiful film that asks us to put our prejudice aside and sort of invest in these, in these two people who seem to have found, they, they, they've, they've come to lean on each other and they've, they've they seem to have found something that resembles love. Mm. Um, as it turns out, one of them is a domestic help mm. and the other is the man that employs her. Mm. The other reason I love this film is because of the performances mm. um, led by, by, by you. Uh, you bring this dignity and this grace to Ratna, mm. um, which is just beautiful because um, we see her through this man's eyes um, as, as someone who's who's more than just the domestic help. She's someone who has her self-respect and pride and, um, and, and she has goals and she has dreams. Yeah. Um, and also, you play her at times as invisible, mm. as, as she would be in around people of a higher social class. Mm. It's this incredible performance that, that itself is almost invisible. It sort of mm. creeps up on you. You haven't mm. realized and you, and, and, you know, by, mm. by the end of it, you're, you're completely sort of uh, taken in because it, it really gets under your skin. I want to start by asking you, do you remember the first time that you read the script? Do you know how it made you feel? Uh, I remember exactly where I was, under which tree, uh, and what the birds were around me. <laughs> it was in Jharkhand. It was uh, while we were shooting for Konkana's film, Death in the Gunge, uh -huh. that I received the script and I told her I won't be able to read it because I can only do one thing at a time. I'm uh -huh. terrible at multitasking. Uh, but then uh, there was some issue and there was, you know, a shoot got cancelled one day and I started reading her script and the moment I started reading it, I was like, oh, oh, <coughs> this is trouble. <coughs> this is not going to end well. Mm. And uh, <coughs> how do you end a film like this? Yeah. And I was very curious to turn to the end, you know, and flip the pages right. and see what happens. Uh, the reason I was really nervous is because, you know, Rajiv, I've made a career, literally yeah. a career out of playing people who are marginalized, yeah. who are poor, mm. uh, and the poorest of poor, yeah. you know, and uh, the fact that, I mean, I come from a very middle class family, right. but I have so much privilege and entitlement because Correct. of the education that, yeah. you know, I've had and I fought for, like, yeah. you know, I fought to go and study in New York and, you know, got a scholarship. Uh, it's, it's, I'm not saying it's been easy, right. but it's been an extremely privileged and an extremely entitled life. Mm. So when a person like that makes money, makes a career, a profession out of playing characters that are so marginalized in mm. society, there comes a time when you can't overlook the fact that you have a responsibility. Right. Of not misappropriating, mm. of not misrepresenting, of not caricaturizing, and for me, that was the big fear yeah. that I don't want at any point, because it's such a delicate relationship it is. between, you know, the master Correct. and the maid with all its connotations yeah. of what the word master means, Correct. you know, and the whole power dynamic, of right, of these words itself. Yes. And I didn't want at any point for it to become voyeuristic, mm. you know, and I was just scared for that. I was scared that I don't want to be that actor who comes from this privilege Correct. and then plays this, you know, romanticizes the notion of right. being a maid and, you know, so that was something was my biggest fear and the way I could handle mm. that fear mm. was primarily because of two reasons. One, which you mentioned, the idea of dignity. Yeah. 
So Roena gave me that brief that no matter how indignifying Ratna's situation is, right. she always is dignified. Yeah. And that became a through line mm. for me. And the beauty of dignity is that it can't be bought. That's right. You know, unlike Correct. class, which is so dependent on the accoutrements of, you know, like of your car and your clothes Correct. and your jewelry and your house and, you know, who, who your friends are right. and what you wear and where you eat. Mm. Dignity is not, uh, it's not, uh, you know, the, the, uh, it's not in the hands of the rich. Right. Either you have it or you don't. Mm. You know, you can be the richest of rich and you can be really crass. Right. And you can be completely lacking in dignity. True. So I think Rowena did me a huge favor mm. by giving me that because then I felt if that is my kryptonite, mm. then I'm going to hold on to it. Right. You know, because that is her film. Yeah. You know, if perhaps if I had to make my own story, my character would not be so dignified. Right. Because I myself am not dignified and Correct. I feel like the human nature is so grey and is so complex. Right. But I think there was a there was a reason. I think the reason was for this relationship to never become something voyeuristic right you know and something or exploitative, or exploitative right exploitative. yeah exactly. because that is that is the biggest fear it is isn't it in this kind of relationship it's, it, there's always that drive absolutely and i think the other one uh, the other factor that helped uh other th besides the dignity was G vivek gomba's mm. performance because yeah. you know there's two ways of being nice Okay, I one way is I'm really nice to you and right. I make sure you know I'm really nice Correct. to you. Because you know what? I'm such a nice person. Of course. You know, like I'm so nice, I'm so helpful, right. look at me, you know? That's one. Yeah. And the other is I don't even know that I'm being nice Correct. because I'm just being human. Yeah. And I think the difference, it looks the same what you do, mm. but the difference in how you feel yeah. is completely palpable. Yeah. You know, and for Gomba maybe because of his growing up in Singapore, he has, you know, he's perhaps not class conscious right the way i am right the way most of us are in india who are mm. used to being served who mm. are used to you know retinue of help and uh, you know and uh, i think because of that like when we when i auditioned with him i never felt like he had a sense of look i'm such a nice guy i fell in love with you right right you fell in love with me big deal you didn't do me a favor correct right correct but that was the that's what i felt from him as an actor which i think was the reason my fears were kept in check. You know, his performance and his, the, his way of being yeah. in his performance and the idea of dignity. Because I was terrified, Rajiv, because, you know, when I looked online, friendship, mm. love stories between a man and his domestic help, all the hits were pornography. Of course, right, yeah, yeah. There was not one story, like, you know, in one, some cool magazine. You're right, this is exactly correct. Like some, like, you know. A sort of sleazy way to, yeah. A beautiful story yeah. about, you know, uh, a marriage across class or a friendship across class. Yeah. There was no narrative. Right. Not even in the world of fiction. Correct. So even if there's no documentary evidence, right, right. there was not even a fictional, fictional account. Right, right. So I was like, That's just what? not how people view that relationship. No. Right, so then right. that's when I realized that in Indian society, yeah. the only way the story works mm. is in the world of pornography. Right. And, and that really made me feel so scared mm that I don't want to do this. Right. You know? And, and so when Rowena gave me this note of dignity, and when I saw Gomber's, the nature of his performance, mm. I felt, okay. But we have to, at every step, every scene, yeah. not just the scene of intimacy between right. us, right. but every scene is so intimate, right? So uh, we, we and Gomber and I always checked in with each other that, are we safe? Right. Like, at any point have we, has the gaze lingered on a little longer and sure. become something else? Sure. Become something which people would be like, oh, that only happened because he's the he's the master. The master, right. right. She didn't have a choice. Right. You know? So her sense of agency, Correct. Uh, his sense of uh, propriety, mm. you know, that that balance we checked in like every day we traveled to work together mm. because we would discuss what we are doing today. And every day after work we would travel back together right. and use that time to say that where did we let each other down? How what lovely, worked, yeah. what didn't work? You know, because we really felt that, we felt a sense of responsibility that this could so easily go wrong. Sure. How you did know? you find Ratna? Um, did you have references? Uh, you know, when you live in India, you yeah. don't need references Correct. to it's, it's play. Around you, yeah. It's around us, like from childhood, we, you know, are privileged enough to have had help at home. Of course. You know, and of course, 
you know it's not like we had a retinue of help sure. we had one person who sure. helped helped ma and uh, but uh, there was always that right yeah. and they were all so different yeah they're all incredibly different yeah and so like when roena said that night it's like this she's you know dignified she's you know she doesn't like really talk back correct and uh, so i was like why because the lady who works in my house she scolds us all the time right. like you know i'm scared of her because she like aaj khana nahi khaya kal se main khana nahi banaungi tum logo ke liye correct. jab tak fridge mein khana pada hai tum log bahut khana waste karte ho so it's like acha theek hai didi hum like you know okay yeah, dude yeah. like you know mekal right. se nahi aaungi like you know so she literally so i was like why can't i have that, why can't that, i not have correct. that right. she's like that's not my film right yeah you know so that's we had choice, all correct. we had uh, that then i realized that okay so then what is your ratna mm. who is your ratna tell me because there's like just like correct. two there's, engineers there's, are not the same yeah, yeah, you know yeah. we can't there's no prototype there's no to being, correct, yeah. you know uh, you know domestic help so so she said this is what i need this is i need that sense of dignity no matter how indignifying the situation is right and once i once i understood that then that became like you know the sur sure. of the character ki kuch bhi kare ye nahi matlab ye nahi chutega this will be correct yeah. you know um the film has played very well at film festivals abroad yeah. um starting with can uh, you won the award at the film festival in in yeah. belgium yes. um it's it's played theatrically in france it's it's one yeah. of the top 5 grossing films yeah. um five, five grossing indian films yeah. in france it now releases in india the yeah. home country um are you anxious because class politics is 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 a real thing here yeah. are you anxious to see how the film plays out here i am i'm really anxious i'm more than anxious i'm really curious you know because um i'm so used to my film not being my films not being watched in india that uh, you know for me that's it's also a sense of joy right that uh, a sense of homecoming that you know our film will be seen mm. here but it's also like for me uh, it's uh, i'm curious at a sociological level sure that uh, what does it what does it make people feel, feel right because right. i know what i felt yeah you know i know i felt uncomfortable yeah i know i felt like i have these prejudices you said myself. that you said you said that um you said that the, that, that you were you felt guilty of yeah. um of of many of the things that the film critiques i did the i soft really apartheid. did yeah the soft uh, like yeah. it's it is invisible slavery right yeah. that we let people service us at such close intimate quarters and yet can't imagine a friendship with them right what is wrong with us mm. you know what monsters lurk within us right and we are nice people correct huh? we are nice we people, think we, are we, nice. Yeah, we think we are nice we think we are nice people we think we are nice people people say we are <laughs> nice right. people and yet you know we have people who are in our homes in our kitchen G- making the food that goes inside our body uh, right and yet we can't imagine falling in love with them that's right or having a friendship with them right or even uh, sharing the same or sharing the same table with them yeah uh using the same bathroom as them right uh but yet you know a stranger a celebrity correct uh, a ceo of a company uh you know you would be like please come in share right. my food share my you know share everything yeah uh i i would get up to greet someone from a five they were that important right. but the person who's actually actually nourishing me yeah actually taking making sure that i can lead a dignified life mm. by supporting me i can't imagine a friendship with them it just speaks volumes about my own superficiality you right. know it f- speaks volumes about the monsters that exist within my life and there is no way i can overlook overlook that, that. Sure. and the film really did that for me what it would make someone feel i'm really curious because i feel like it's time we at least acknowledge whether you like sir or not Correct. it's time it's not a moral science lesson yeah. because it's not didactic you yeah. know the film it's not, in any it's way it's absolutely not yeah but agar aapko lagta hai ki ye romance possible hai hi nahi it'll right. speak a lot about you about you correct it actually but reveals a lot about you yeah. yeah. it's about yeah 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 theek hai correct aap sach bol rahe ho yeah right but that just shows that aapke liye possible nahi hai matlab aapki beti ya beta can't date your driver or right. maid right right उनको अगर इश्क हो भी जाता है आप अलाउ नहीं करेंगे ना करेक्ट वही बात वही रही राइट द अदर फिल्म यू हैव कमिंग आउट इज अंग्रेजी मीडियम जी सो फार रिमूव फ्रॉम सर 
I know it's a. It's I know a cameo. It's a, it's a cameo. Yes. Um, but you know, it's lovely because it, it sort of completes the arc that you began with uh, with Hindi medium Hindi. a couple of years yes. ago. Um, yes. You of course played that consultant, that sort of tough, no nonsense, yeah. very proper consultant right. who's uh, advising Irfan's character and his yeah. wife yeah. on how to uh, procure that admission right. um, for their daughter. What was it like, sort of? Um, Re, in, in a sense, you know, reuniting with the team, mm. um, working with Irfan again. The circumstances, of course, were very different this time. Um, also, it's not the kind of film that one sort of expected to see you in because of yeah. the work that, that you did. Yeah. And it's one of those films that I would imagine, um, correct me if I'm wrong, everyone really noticed and really, really thought you were lovely in. You know, the two minutes in Hindi medium uh, got me uh, more, eyeballs. more uh, eyeballs than the 20 years that I have spent working uh, very hard. But I've learned something from that, mm. that, uh, you know, uh, I'm very glad that Hani Trehan pushed me uh, to do Hindi medium. And his reasons were quite wonderful. Uh, you know, he said that, you know, I, it's so hard for me to convince someone to cast you for someone who is rich or from the upper, uh, you know, class mm -hmm. uh, because you've played so many people Correct. from various impoverished rural characters so mm. many that please can you do an English speaking right. uh, you know uh, right. And I was like, honey, that's a very lame and superficial reason, you know. And he was like, no, no, she's really like very bitchy. I'm like, what are you trying to say, <laughs> you know. But I'm very glad. I'm very glad I did it because I realized that in order for the filmmakers mm. who trust me with uh, their films, right. the independent filmmakers, uh, for whom putting together that kind of money, paying my fee, mm. and then distributing a film like that, mm. it just becomes a little easier sure. for them. If uh, I am an actor who is a little bit more visible, and I don't think I realize the importance of that, mm. and uh, you know, uh, e e even the fear of coronavirus hasn't stopped people from opening their mask and saying, are you the consultant from Hindi medium? I was like, put your mask back and yes, I am, you know, uh, because I, I realized that there was so much love uh, for, for that film. That and, film yeah. and, uh, and it's, a, it's a matter of also how many screens, you know, That's right. how many screens my films get watched in and Correct. how many screens, the, 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 the difference is just like, it's mind boggling. It is. And so even a small part in a big film like that uh, enables me in ways that I had not realized. Right. And uh, so when they called for crazy medium that the franchise wanted Deepak and me back, right. uh, it felt heartening that, you know, those just two, three days of shoot was appreciated mm. and that they wanted me back. And the circumstances were, what made me say yes was, um, sim simply because I think it's been, uh, you know, very difficult to um, to kind of uh, 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 to accept, yeah. uh, you know, uh, Irfan's illness and uh, and uh, so to be in a room with him, uh, it was just a day shoot. Yeah. But to be in a room with him, to breathe the same air, to be able to laugh together, was an opportunity I wasn't going to uh, let go of. And I'm really glad. I'm glad because we got to laugh and we got to cry and not cry actually we just laughed we laughed a lot and um, and my m mother's battling something very similar so it, w it there was a sense of uh, also just understanding that life is actually so ephemeral yeah. and that we just have to make the best of it and he's always told me you know when I used to cry about not having enough work he said stop being a Meena Kumari you know it will come right. it will come and uh, by the time it came, yeah. that volume of work, I really didn't care. Right. I didn't care that much. Sure. Because I actually realized that the people around me, mm. uh, I saw how fragile life was. Yeah. And with, you know, with Irfan's illness, I just felt like what we have is so much already. And, True. you know, so it, to be in that room was, uh, you know, more than just the film. It was, uh, I wo I've worked with him since yeah. Shadows of Time. Correct. And, uh, you already kissed her, which is yeah. really one of the best, and we'll talk about that. And yeah. he's also watched me and, you know, and he can see through me in, in ways that few people can. Wow. And so for me, it, it was, uh, I had to do it. Yeah. You know, since we're talking about um, Angrezi medium and Hindi medium, I have to ask, Pilatma, the fact that you haven't done the big commercial Bollywood film, yeah. certainly, um, so infrequently that that it's you can count them on your, yeah. on your fingertips. <laughs> yes, uh, in one that? hand. <laughs> in one hand. That's true. You don't actually. even need that. Hand. <laughs> you need, yeah. And you probably won't need yeah. all fingers. <laughs> yeah. Um, was that something that you had no interest in, or was that something that you found that 
they had no use of use for you all. You know, Rajiv, it's not like I have refused them. Right. They've never come to me. Mm. The first that came to me was Hindi medium. Right. You know, and uh, so I I have a feeling that uh, and I've auditioned for a few, I think, uh, like you know. Uh, you know, when I mean like Excel projects, right. which are like commercially correct, correct. But, but, bigger but, yeah, films, yeah. but I've never got it. I've never made it past the audition. Uh. You know, and uh, so I have a feeling that I'll have to work harder, and perhaps my personality is not very endearing. So perhaps I have to be more lovable, and I'm working on it, and perhaps more sociable, and I'm working on that. Uh, and I feel like every audition that I give for these big films is like me knocking on the door. Mm. And uh, initially the door won't even open. Then they would uh, uh, you know, let you come in, but not offer you a glass of water. And now I'm offered a glass of water and they give me an audition and a smile and appreciate the audition. I may not get the job. Uh, but now with like you know with Hindi medium and Angrezi medium like I didn't have to audition for it. Right. You know I got offered you know the parts and this change is happening now. Right. Right. So it's taken a while I think for the industry also to understand what to do with someone perhaps who's as awkward as I am uh, or you know perhaps looks the way I do and. Uh, you know, so I, I think it's a two-way thing. I think you're letting them off too easily. I think that no, I don't. Uh, I don't feel bitter. You know, because no, it's not about bitter. I think that I think there's just a um, there is just a laziness where where one does not want to look beyond. Uh, one does not want to um, you know I imagine what what a person can do beyond what you've only seen them do. I mean that, that you know they famously slot. The, this is this business uh, stereotypes you. I mean it's it's one one seldom looks beyond and says you know I can cast her as as this. She's never done this, but right. but let's go. Let's go that far. I think it's because I'm not bubbly enough. <laughs> <laughs> I think if my personality was really friendly and warm and like, you know, and uh, uh, not that shy and not that... In but so I have you're, changed. You're very friendly. You're very, now you're, you're, I have. Okay. Rajiv, it's been, I think, it's also, it's a two-way street, you know, like being invited to the Real Awards, you right. know, uh, being nominated by Filmfare right. or getting that Ajagran, you know, the sure. award Ajagran. Yeah. I, I felt these were little ways of uh, the industry also accepting me and sure. telling me that I'm a part of them. Right. And I think that also warmed me up to because I am very friendly and warm with my friends. Right. And in in the independent uh, film uh, fraternity. Sure. But I always feel like uh, I don't feel like I'm not. It's never about self-esteem. Right. You know, when I'm in a filmy party sure. and with A-listers who walk past you, and uh, why would they not walk past? They've not seen my films. Right. You know, I don't hold it against them. Mm. I just feel like there is no common ground. So when a film fair happens, or a Hindi medium happens, and a crazy medium happens, I can see this slender bridge being right. built. Right. And then I see the warmth. Right. You know, I've seen and now felt the warmth of the industry. Oh, lovely, yeah. And I feel good. And it's do okay that it took time. Do you envy some of your peers who've been able to strike that balance between the mainstream and the indie? Someone like Konkuna, for example. I think Coco is just a wonderful example of she has a persona which is uh, just so charming, mm. you know. And I, I think, and she's one of the few uh, people who've uh, just who's you know blessed right. with that kind of grace that uh, you can't refuse. Sure. It doesn't matter whether you're independent or commercial. And I think that's a great example right. because I feel like eventually I will seduce you, you sure. know. And it may take you time. Like I'm maybe like a porcupine, sure. but I'm really soft inside, you know. So it'll take you time, perhaps, and it perhaps will take me time to make you feel comfortable. What a great way you to know? look at it. Sure. That's how I want to look at it. Sure. That because it's happening, yeah. I can, yeah, see, you the can change, see the change. Right. And right. I uh, and the years that I spend resenting, mm. uh, uh, resenting Bollywood or uh, you know the A-listers yeah. and looking down on them, their work, and feeling like I was better were miserable. Right. And I realized that very quickly in the first four years in Bombay mm. that I don't want to be this person. Right. Because it shows in your face, it shows yeah. in your work when you become bitter. Right. And when you feel you're not getting your due. Right. And, but you just flip it and be like, don't blame them. They don't know how to, how you know, to you. Right. How, how right. to fall in love with you. Sure. And you are so awkward also. So mm. you also not making them feel comfortable because right. you're bristling with the sense of like, so unfair. Right. You know, how can someone fall in love with someone who doesn't like them? True. How can True. I expect uh, the industry to accept me when I'm sitting on this high horse and being like, you guys are so right. mean and, you know, unfair and like, you know. 
Uh, so I feel like when I really started really giving my best to the work that was coming to me, mm -hmm. which is the independent films yes. that I've done, yes. uh, I felt as I stopped focusing on what I'm not getting, right. but really giving my best to, you know, mm -hmm. and there, I've made, I have had work, yes. independent work, yes. right? So I feel like what is it that makes those brave uh, director producers trust me with Right. something right. you know i must must honor that trust right. and if i keep doing that and keep going for these auditions for these big films eventually eventually the twain shall meet. meet right and this ro you know this romance will become you know uh, broader and sure. you know but uh, yeah it's taken it's and it's i'm in a much happier right. space and that's why it's happening i think of course and i think this is what irfan meant that Stop being a tragedy queen. Correct. You know, because it doesn't help. Sure. Nobody wants to be with somebody or support somebody who is <coughs> miserable and unhappy. Right. What a wonderful way to look at it, actually. Yeah. Isn't it? It is. It is. You know, I feel like your most commercial work yeah. is in Mentalhood, yeah. the, the show that you've just done. Um, it's the it's the show for, for Alt Balaji. It's it's this show about uh, a bunch of women, um, mums, and it's about the, the, the crazy experience of motherhood, the yeah. pressure, <laughs> the anxiety, everything that comes with it. Um, it's, it's, it's also got a great cast. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's you, it's Sandhya Mridul, yeah. it's Shilpa Shukla, yes. it's Karishma Kapoor, yes. Shruti Seth. Yeah. Um, you're a bunch of women, all of whose kids go to the same school, yeah. and it's the interactions between these women. Um, I, saw, I saw three episodes, and I will say that uh, I saw one scene of mm. really authentic acting, and that was you. That was you. It was a scene in which you confront one of the mums mm. um, or request one of the mums actually mm. not to complain about her kids right. who've been bullying uh, the other mum's son Karishma because son, you yeah. need that. Because you because you need that school. You need that life, and you need for them to have that uh, school. And you talk to her about the the background they come from, the yeah. the, the the father that they have, yeah. the home that they they, yeah. they live in. Um, and, and why, and therefore why, please don't complain because you need this. Yeah. Uh, this is so far removed, I have to say, from yeah. the from the look, the tone of the show, to the styling, it's so, again, yeah. far removed from what you normally Absolutely. tend to do. What, um, what, was that then the, what, was that exactly the, the challenge or that, that what drew you in as well? You know, in a way it did because I'm this, you know, nerdy Bengali, slightly, quite, actually quite intellect, you know, in, in, like I'm very like, you know, I love my books and, yeah, you know, yeah. and to be offered a, a out and out, over the top Punjabi, Punjabi mother, right. large hearted, Correct. you know, uh, uh, loud right. mouthed woman, Correct. I was like, listen, I'll make it into a caricature. Right. Because my kissa was far from just because I played a Punjab, a Punjabi, Punjabi there, it was right. a completely different a very, tone, very, absolutely, right? yeah, tonally yeah. it was completely different. Correct. And so I was like, you're making a huge mistake because I'm either going to, <clears throat> you know, not get it right. or I'm going to make it really over the top. Right. <clears throat> I have no idea. I kept telling them, you know, you give me the part of Sandhya, you know, this, uh, you know, erudite, snobby, uh, right. you know, I, you know, sarcastic. Correct. I'm like, I'll kill that, <laughs> you know, that's, that's my, you know, inner reality. And they're like, no, we really want you to play this part uh, because it can so easily become over the top, mm. this character that we'd like you to you play it. Right. And I really didn't understand it, but I was like, you know, wh when will I get this? Right. When will I get to wear a peroxide wig? Correct. With my hair till here, that's right. and like uh, really uh, clothes that I would not be seen dead in, you know, and uh, like velvet jumpsuits and all. Yes, you know, you know Raji, that's not my zone. Right. You know, that's not my aesthetic. And to speak Punjab, uh, this Punjabi uh, kuri, like you know, Correct. and 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 but and at the same time, while there are all these things that are so not me. And yet the exploration of class here. Yeah, yeah. Here the cultural capital is being, is knowing English. That's right. Is having, I have money. Yeah. But I don't have the, the class. Right. You know, right. the, the cultural capital. Correct. Needed to fit in in a posh school. Mm. And so my r reason to be in the school is because I need the school. That, right, right. In order to understand what is posh behavior correct and this this need to fit in yeah you know yeah because we see her reality at home in the in the we scenes do. with her husband exactly right. you know that i come from this milieu we yeah. have the money the rental income families right you know that don't need to work right <coughs> and uh, but she wants to break out of that correct. so i felt there is some there's that grayness in yeah. the character while she is over the top and so I if i just focus on that 
and uh, and honestly they were paying me well Rajiv yeah, yeah, <laughs> and it's really nice to be paid well I'm sure and there comes a time in your uh, you know in your career when um, you you want uh, to be a Acknowledged and you uh, in in monetary terms right. for the work that you do. Perhaps this should be edited. I don't know. No, but I, I mean, true. I felt like, yeah. Why should we actors like us not make money? Money, of course, of course. You know, when there is so much of it. Right. And uh, and I think that also was a growing up, uh, like an adulting experience in the industry. A of understanding what Hindi medium did Correct. for my career. Correct. And that I need to do this, like balance it out. Right. You know, if I do three indie projects, I can do this one, one right. in a year. Mm. And I think because of that, it was so easy for me to make this decision about doing mental hood. Mm. Because it gives you something that usually you don't get. Don't get Even right. from performance perspective, yeah. allows you to take yourself not so seriously. True. But you know, when you broke out with Monsoon Wedding, yeah. um, playing Alice, who's yes. so lovely and who's still yes. so memorable after all yes. these years, was this the career that you had hoped for? Um, did you have a very different idea of what you hoped to do? No, I never had any uh, preconceived notions of what my career should look like. I knew I wanted an academic life. Right. And, and you uh, did, you took off like, I did. after your second film you took off to yes. New York. Yes. Uh, on a scholarship. Yes. And Nasir Din Shah told you, career suicide. Yes. 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 Uh, but. I knew that I wanted that because I wasn't so sure if uh, acting could be a profession which would allow me independence and freedom. Mm. You know, because it was still something that I was just dabbling with. Right. And I didn't know anybody in Bombay. Uh, and I, you know, for me, independence is. Yeah. Like uh, without it, I can't. Correct. Uh, you know, I can't. I can't survive. And so I, I come from that kind of family of self-made people. So I needed to make sure that I had all my degrees in place. Yeah. Uh, but I remember when I was bet I had finished my second master's, I was working in New York, and uh, Irfan, Tabu, and Mira were doing a talk at Lincoln Center for New York Times, and I was in the audience. Mm -hmm. And I came for the talk. In the Q&A, the lights came on, on the audience, right? And Irfan f spotted me in the audience. And from the stage, he said, isn't that? And then he said, and I was so embarrassed. I, 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 and he was like, meet me. After, after. I was yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I met him after. And he looked at me and he said, why are you unhappy? Are you unhappy here? Then go back. And He just sensed that. I was like, how did he know? How did he know that my time here was up? Right. I just knew it. Uh, I knew it because of, I had many reasons. Yeah. My, my love affair with America had come to an end. Mm. I worked, uh, you know, I worked in the public sector. I yeah. worked in a prison called That's Rikers right. Island. Yeah. And I saw the kind of hypocrisy, uh, the hypocrisy of America, which is so cold hearted and so calculated, you know, uh, because most of the people in prison are either Latinos or black, yeah. uh, you know, African Americans. Uh, you see all their case files and they've all been put on a drug called Ritalin for attention deficit, you know, ADD or ADHD. In, for just acting out in the classroom. The side effects of these drugs, when you or hit puberty, term, yeah. are depression. Then yeah. they're put on antidepressants. They come from the most marginalized sectors of, you know, yeah. of the country. They're put on the, they are, they, basically the pharmaceutical is ensuring that they don't have a have chance it, right. to succeed. Right. But it's done through medicine. Yeah. Very, it seems yeah. very compassionate. Correct. You know, to slap these acronyms of these various disorders, which we are saying in our country, it's naughty. Hai. Correct, correct, correct. Yeah, yeah, na. Usko dawai dalke, usko maar nahi rahe hamandar se. Right, right. You know, so this, uh, when I saw all this, I was like, there's no way. There's no way. I mean, there's much to love about this country. Yeah. You know, but I can't, I can't, I can't get a check. I can't make a salary from this kind of blood money. Right. You know, and. Uh, and I was getting very restless. And that's when I, and that's when Irfan saw through this. And mm. I was like, yeah, I will come back. And I saw, I'd seen Namesake. Uh -huh. And that scene where Tabu gets a call about her parent having passed away. Yeah, yeah. I had this like feeling of claustrophobia that it's a 16 hour direct flight. Correct. At that time, you know, from New York from to New York. Delhi when my parents lived there. And if I get that call, because that call comes to everyone, of right, course. Rajiv? Of course. Yeah? yeah. If I get that call, what do I do? I'm going to book my flight. I was thinking, what are the steps? I'll book my flight. I'll come there. I'll do the last rites. What happens to the other parent who is left alive? Yeah. I'm going to take a flight and go back. back. 
leave them there. Mm. I don't know. I just, I feel like these are my parents' best years. Mm. I don't want to be so far. I'm also feeling like I, I'm not being utilized in America, like the potential that I have. Right. Because I can only do one job and one visa. Oh. <clears throat> so I was like, it's time. It's time to say goodbye, you know. And How did those years and that experience uh, fuel the acting, if it did? It did, in a, in, in, a, in a way that was very hard because the training in school was constantly also making you feel how ill-equipped you are, Right. you know? Because all my like classmates uh, at Tisch were either trained in two or three dance forms, could play at least four or five instruments, mm. could read notations. They were, they were actors. Right. They were dancers, musicians, rappers, and, and I was just an actor. <laughs> Right. You know, and I realized the training that they have put in. Mm. So you don't have to, uh, it doesn't have to be a musical. But when you have a sense of music, it changes your performance. Right. When you have a sense of rhythm, the way a dancer moves in a scene. Mm. And so, you know, a mime, uh, you know, a mime class or, you know, a movement class. I could see how much I had to struggle. Right. So that, that masters was an intense intense training in coming face to face with one's mediocrity mm -hmm. but like with every process that you put yourself through True, sincerely right, right. when you come out of it and go out into the real world you realize how much you have actually soaked in sure, sure. and when i started auditioning mm. in bombay when i came here Correct. when i came back i realized when i was in the audition room i it was, was auditioning different differently right, right. I had so much more confidence right. and I, would, I was doing different things. I could like, if I had to audition a scene, I would think of which song would go with that scene. Mm. That song would play in my head. Mm. You know, no one knows it. Right, right. But it changes the scene. Scene, sure. If I had sure. to do this scene with uh, Lela or Lela playing in correct, my head, correct, correct. it would be very it would different, be very different from, from, yeah, you know, yeah, some yeah. Duran Duran song right. or some, you know, yeah. uh, you know, Red Hot Chili Pepper song going on in my head. It would right. be complete two different scenes. Now, these things I would have never, never, mm, right, never right. thought off so I'm actually very thankful for that time in retrospect sure you know sure. Uh, yeah you know um, I want to talk about what I think is your absolute best performance aside from sir which I which I love Kissa uh, I think you were just absolutely incredible in that film this is uh, this is the film that you made with Anoop Singh yes. um, you play the fourth daughter of Umbar Singh the character yes. that Irfan plays uh, he's been desperate for a son. He's old-fashioned and traditional and, 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 and believes that he should have a son. And he decides to raise this fourth daughter as a son. Uh, you are cover Singh. Yes. He raises you as a young man, gets you married to a, uh, to a young girl. Um, that relationship is just so, uh, it's, it's tense and it's, and she wants to, uh, there, is that, there is that moment in the, uh, in the film where, later on in the film, where you're at the window, of course, yeah. uh, where you tell him, I want to be a, uh, for your sake, and to, you know, I want to, I want to adhere to your wish and be, be the man that you want to, me to be, but I've, but, but my womanhood is, has What do I do over. with the breasts? What do you do, what do, you do with it? And, and you take I off have. the shirt, and yeah. it's, yeah. oh, it's, it's, it's really, mm. it gives me goose just thinking about it. Um, but what an incredible performance, because uh, I think you brought out Kamar Singh's confusion and pain and fear, all of it so beautifully. Were you, uh, were you disappointed that, that that film, which really had, uh, I would imagine, a lot of work went into yeah. getting into that head of, of, that, of that young girl, um, were you disappointed that it didn't travel as much as it should have? You know, I felt most disappointed for, the, for Anoop. Right. Because, uh, you know, it's just a matter of sometimes dumb luck, right? That, uh, and, uh, and having marketing budgets. Uh, for a film to be accessible, right? Yeah, and and I feel like Anoop is such an incredible director because uh, the way he has directed me, yeah, and all of us in that film, mm. like even Irfan says yeah. that. That I remember Irfan telling me that don't worry about how the film does because what you will get from this film, you're so young mm -hmm. to already get it. Correct. You know, you're so lucky to have got it yeah. so young. Yeah. And I was like, so young. I'm like in my mid-30s, right. you know? What are you talking about? Correct. At that time I was 35, I think. When, when was, uh, uh, Kisa. Kisa was I think five Fourth, years? Yeah, six about years six ago? years, 14. Six years ago, yeah. yeah. And uh, so he was like, you're really lucky, you know, to get this. And I didn't understand it then, but Anoop gave me tools to use as an actor for mm. that film, which mm. I can use in any film. Oh, wonderful, right. 
you know so i felt uh, i'm used to my work not being seen by many people right. you know i felt really bad that someone like anu mm. uh didn't get uh you know uh didn't get what he should have but anup is an extraordinary human being right. so he is not one to sort of yeah you know he's not Let one to hold uh, kind of cripple him right cripple him at all but you, you know, know how does an artist make peace with the fact that some great work that one does some great films that one makes mm. a death in the ganj manto kadvi hawa and these are just right. a few from that um from that very enviable cv that you have uh just haven't been watched um, at, at what point were you able to make peace with that and how does one make peace with that um i think one uh i mean i have to be honest it really took time it it took time like i said the first 4 5 years was like really feeling like i was crawling out of my skin hated myself blamed it on the way i looked that only if I, maybe it's because i'm not pretty maybe it's because i'm not funny you know maybe it's because i don't have the personality that can just enter a room and you know just woo people you know i i don't you know i'm not someone who can just you know I'm, you know I, I don't dance in a graceful way you know maybe it's because i have such weird dance moves you know like you would think you ask all, everything right you know, right I think you... all these things and then but when i started like i think kissa changed that for me because i really realized that uh the opportunities i'm getting yeah are truly precious right and the opinion of others stop you know stop really it didn't matter to me right because the 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 input that the, yeah. the amount i was being given as an actor by by the director right. was like nobody has given this much to me correct this kind of investment in an actor is massive mm. you know i genuinely have fallen in love with these people and they are my friends they're like my family wow. and so i feel like what can you give me what correct. what is it like right. you know this can't be in lieu of a great big successful film yeah you yeah. know this is too precious it's too precious because it's not something which is limited to the scope of one film yeah. it is something you carry for life, life these right, friendships right. and the tools that make you a better actor sure. right so i feel like the commerce aspect of it will come when it has to right and what is really important is that i learn i learn and i learn from these various filmmakers young and old mm. who have very unique voices and they're giving me very unique directions so that i become an actor who is constantly evolving right. and when that focus shifts to yourself then the rest doesn't bother you so much and i feel like already the acceptance is enough right isse zyada na mile bhi theek hai itna mil gaya bahut hai what is next i know you're doing reema das's yes. film which is incredible yes. she's just so fiercely independent yes. what can one expect i mean i know it's early but but what um, would you be able to I, it's a journey of a woman uh -huh. and uh, and reema's way of working is like we don't have a script script uh -huh. uh, and uh, it's born out of observations that we are making okay and we've been talking now for 6 7 months uh -huh. she had seen sir 2 years ago at khan uh -huh. that's where we met and that's when she said i'd like to meet you and then when i met her she uh, in bombay she said i'd like to work with you but i in one condition i'd like you to come to my home i i've noticed you you've been you've been going yes. home you yes so i went to her home and she said i'd like you i said sure i'll come i right. said but you know which hotel can i stay in she said, no i'd like you to stay in my house right I was like mm, I'm like I'm not I, I don't know yeah. you know uh, we don't know each other that well right and uh, and but I don't know something told me that where is your sense of adventure correct okay you know I have That's friends nice. who've gone couch surfing you sure. know in various parts of the world right here is a yeah. wonderful <laughs> filmmaker <laughs> correct national award winning everyone knows yeah, her everyone knows not, her. not like to turn not out to be a dodgy. serial killer exactly <laughs> and I'm like thinking so much about it like why has you know what part of my professional life has made me question these right really uh, incredible opportunities mm. to go see assam yeah you know and to live in someone's home 
you know, people would jump at it. Correct. Where has that adventure gone to Uthma? Right. Bring it right back. And I went there and I lived with her family, her father, her brother, her mother. Uh, the, the architecture of the homes, how each room has two, three doors. Right. So that people coming in from here, leaving there, going in from here. I realized, I understood so much about Rima and Rima's way of working. Right. Uh, she's, you know, taught herself filmmaking. Yeah. She, yeah. Uh, I have to abandon and surrender all rules that I have learned, learned so far. Yeah, yeah. Because she doesn't subscribe to any of them. Correct. You know, so it's like free falling, yeah. you know, and uh, it's another, like, this is what I mean. Can I exchange this right. for any amount of commercial? Correct. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm, not yeah. ge I'm genuinely, I'm saying that, that while commercial success and that fame and that importance it's lovely, is wonderful. Yeah, it's wonderful, sure. It's really wonderful, but this is the life equally precious. Yeah, yeah. Because like her way of direction is so different from Anoop's or Debakar's or Coco's, you know, and and like I'm greedy. Right. I'm very ambitious. Sure. So for me not, running after or chasing commercial work is not because of a lack of ambition right. you, know? Uh, you know if it comes I'll do it but if it's not coming and this is what is coming to me I'm going to absolutely take it in I'm sure. going to be a sponge and take it all in because these are unique opportunities from my worldview right can't wait to see what you do next. I really do think that, I really do hope and think that Sir will be a turning point. I feel like it's one of those films that uh, that you can't not um, allow to get under your skin. I think it's, it's if you if you sort of go into it with an open mind, it, it sort of creeps up on you and, and, and really makes you yeah. look at the world differently and really makes you confront your own, um, it, it's beautiful and, it, and it's really powered by that performance. It's such a beautiful, dignified yeah. performance. Thank Cannot you. wait to see more. More power, please continue. Um, the show's name is Class Act, uh, and we're very, uh, uh, you know, we really, we're very picky about who we get on it. I'm so glad oh. that, I'm really, really so glad that you could do this. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so much, Raji. Big fan always. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.